Okay. It's Tuesday, the 16th uh, of May, 2023. Um, tonight, we're going to go, uh, me and Albert are going to go to NXT. Um, I'd be the first one. He went to a GCW show with me. And that was pretty cool because that was a pretty special moment for me because um, me and Albert have been friends for many years and we haven't really, we've never been to a wrestling show together. Um, and also this Friday, we're going to go see the Psychedelic Furs at Hard Rock in Orlando. Um, that's another group that he put me on. Um, I've never listened to, I, I don't want to say I've never listened to them. I didn't listen to him until he told me about them because I listen to them now and they're pretty good. But he's put me on, he put me on to Gringo Star too and we went and I had a blast and that, um, that show, I'll never forget that show because we went to, it was a play, it was a venue called Will's Pub and the, as soon as we walked in, I knew that place was for me, bro, because at, if y'all remember, if y'all were on the live, I, I did a live stream that night we were at the show. Um, but if you guys remember anything from that stream, they had fucking Nitro playing. WCW Nitro on the TV in the bar. So while the, you know, the, the pre-bands were playing and like we were waiting on everybody to get set up, I spent like an hour. I spent a lot of the time I was at that bar that night standing in front of, oh shit. Um, standing in front of uh, the TV watching Nitro. Um, I've never been to the Hard Rock Cafe either. I've eaten there in Denver, but I've never been to a show at the at the one in Orlando, right? So we're gonna. So that's gonna be something. Um, that's gonna be cool, man. I, I always love going to shows with Albert because he always he. First of all, he listens to some crazy good music, and he always puts me on. Um, and I always have a blast, man. Him and his girlfriend are like so down to earth. They're so cool to hang out with. I love, be I love being around them. Um, it is a little unfortunate because they are moving, um, back to Arkansas, uh, pretty soon. So I'm trying to get like as much, you know, sesh with my boy as I can. Cause, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make trips down to Arkansas or if he's going to be able to make trips back up this way and stuff like that. So we're just trying to taking day by day getting knocking a bunch of shit out and you know living life and shit because i for one have been wasting way i know i've talked about this um let me stop and say right now sorry for the um the wonky camera angles right uh i'm if i leave it on the dashboard too long then uh it'll overheat so i'm trying to like hold it and drive and whatever but um right now uh you're wondering like why are you looking like looking all professional and shit um i'm just gonna go see what's up with some uh jobs right now i'm not hurting like i don't need a job right now i have one but i just know it, that it ain't it and a lot of the times in my life especially over the last few years well i mean i guess you know whatever over the last few years anyway i would just be at a job and like i only liked one job that i've had in the past like several years and that's something we're going to talk about in another episode but i was um pushed out of that job and that was so cool because that, that was where I'm, I, I met road dog i met william regal i met jbl all in that restaurant all just from being at work that day doing my job um you don't believe me that shit's crazy i got um i'll post pictures i didn't get to take a picture with uh regal because i was like super super busy um but i got a picture of road dog and J uh, jbl so that was pretty pretty cool but anyway yeah i don't need a i'm just seeing what's out there because i know the job i have now is not for me it's just a lot of customerism a lot of a lot of miscommunication a lot of non-communication a lot of just fuckery and cody's done with the fuckery cody's been dealing with fuckery his whole career and i would just let it slide because i was like oh i need this job i i, I have to have a job and da, 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 da. no never again 
I will be broken homeless before I go back to a job that I don't feel valued at or that I don't feel appreciated at. Um, because at the end of the day, like, you know, and it, it sounds selfish and in a way it is, but you gotta be selfish to be selfless. Like you gotta put you first before you can, I don't mind working, I don't mind helping people out. I don't mind doing any of that. But when you put me in a position to where I'm not helping you out anymore and it becomes that I'm doing your job and you're being lazy and just because I'm a, I'm a hard worker, you're like, oh, Cody, Cody gonna take care of it because that's the way Cody is. Not anymore. Cody will help you out if you need it, but Cody's not gonna sit there and do your shit for you and make your money for you and get bitched at because I didn't do your shit, like didn't do enough for you when I'm doing the jobs of seven people all the time. Anybody that's ever worked with me knows that I outwork everybody and I'm tired of being fucking humble about it, acting like, oh, like I'm all right, I'm all right, like what da, 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 da. I'm fucking great at what I do. Any job I have, I kill it every time. And that's, that's not a question, it's not me being cocky, it's the truth. And I've been, I would tell myself for a while, like, oh no, no, like it's not, whatever whatever no uh, okay so this i know i'm going back and forth here my brain you already know is like a fucking uh pinball machine um i was just here yesterday i hope it's not the same guy that i saw yesterday because it's gonna be so so embarrassing if it is but we gotta make a quick stop um all right so i guess i'll come with me on this we're good i don't know i'm still thinking so y'all probably gonna go in my back pocket for a minute Okay, that was mad sus. That was the same guy I saw yesterday. It was yesterday. Same purchase, but it's okay. That's not what we're talking about today. Um, I wanted to keep it rolling because I've gotten in a habit. I don't want to say it's a good or bad habit. I want to I'm going to lean toward the bad side because it's really not. I wouldn't say it's a good habit, but for, especially for if, if I'm trying to get into this, like filming and vlogging shit, uh, I've been doing like 20, 30 second clips, a minute clips and like a whole bunch of videos that are just like less, less than three minutes. Like, and do you know how fucking annoying that is? as a fucking content creator to filter through all that shit and there has to be an easier way 
and like I said I'm learning I'm still learning a lot with this so you guys have to be patient with me um, because like I said there's still a lot to learn um, and I'm learning every day like I'm learning and that's the, that's the important thing as long as I'm like staying focused and I'm learning every day I've got I've got so much shit planned for you guys um, and that's not even counting just the shit that I like I'm gonna film regularly I have my regular content obviously my games I um, as you can see I'm doing my best to do like even last night I did a, a two-hour stream on WWE and um, I did a, I did a couple of live streams until my GoPro battery ran down with some background music and just kind of you know was just chilling um, but the point to that is regardless of what it is I'm gonna be posting shit um, quite a bit and I want to apologize too for the like wonky camera angles we're going back and forth and this and that like I said um, I don't want to leave the GoPro in the dash on the dashboard right now and have it like overheat and turn off and because last time it did that I'm not sure if it actually got all my footage that I was supposed to get I, maybe it did and maybe it's on a different memory card or something I'm so glad I have um, I have all this in, in hindsight I was kind of upset like oh man this bitch like not schedule me nothing like da 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 like why not I, but, and then I thought about it I'm like hey the hourly makes up for it so I end up getting a check that's pretty decent which is never a thing when I've been serving right so I'm like alright whatever on top of that I hate that fucking place already so for me to not like be there she's doing me a favor right and me not being there I'm able to work on me work on shit I want to do work on my 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 content my vlogs go places so everything happens for a reason man like even if you think like the world's out to get you and some bullshit's happening and you don't think it's fair and like you feel like I don't know maybe whatever you're feeling but like it's not always like that and like shit happens that way to set you up for other shit so like you're you're right where you need to be even if you don't realize it and you may hear that and you're like oh you don't know nothing da, 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 da. I only say this because I lived it I lived through this shit you know what I mean I experienced it I experienced the highs and lows of all of that so I understand you know that feeling um I do need to chill on on these pins, bro. I've been fucking going hard, and they they're not like expensive, but they add up. And like, if I'm trying to do other, sh I've got to get other avenues of income coming in because, and I've got ideas. I've just like I've got to put these ideas into motion now because I, for the longest time, I wouldn't. Anybody that's known me knows I'm like um. I don't like fucking with people. I don't like doing nothing. I don't. I didn't like anything. I was just like a negative, like ball of fucking misery. And to a degree, like, well, not to a degree. Like, I mean, obviously, I chose. At the time, I didn't realize I was choosing to make myself feel that way. Right? I was thinking like, oh, other people are making me feel miserable, and other like, no, like. You're letting other people's stupidity affect you and you're thinking about things you don't need to be thinking about. And I would do that. I would be boiling and insisting on on just shit that I can't change, I can't control. And it's not even about change or control. It's just like, and I would look, in hindsight, it's like, why in the fuck am I even thinking about this? I spent 30 minutes upset about some fucking dickhead honking at me in traffic. That's not exactly it, but something, you know, whatever analogy, whatever whatever you can put there to make that fill in for you you know right so I did that now I'm sorry I keep losing focus because my brain is all over the fucking place the point is you I know you're right where you need to be okay even if you don't believe it or you don't feel like it like and everything you ask for in your head and like everything you think about is you that's what I was 
on earlier and I trailed off. You are the only one in control of you, man. And I, I would argue that. I would have argued that all the way up until two or three months ago, right? Because I was like, nah, like other people make me miserable. Like to a degree that's true, but it's because I let them make me miserable. You feel me? It's because I choose to think about the bullshit that that, that person put me through or to choose to think about something negative when I could be waste, using that time and that energy to do something fucking positive, right? And I knew this. It was like always in the back of my head for the longest time. It was in the back of my head for the longest time. And I just happened to be watching a show and um, that scene played out of like the, what I just described, that whole scene. And, and then one of the characters was like, yeah, like, you know, this, uh, it was Bupkis. So it was like the Pete Davidson's little show or whatnot. He, uh, he was seeing his therapist and he went to go see his therapist because he like, someone posted this crazy picture of him and he hated the picture and he was focused on that picture so bad. He was like, man, this picture is so stupid. I hate this picture. And he went out of his way to like hunt down who, po who posted the picture. Turned out it was his like, his therapist posted it to like kind of click that into his head that like you choose what you think about and like you're all the time he wasted like hunting down the dude that posted this photo of him he could have been you know pursuing something that he wanted to do spending time with his family spending time with people he cares about and yet he was sitting there you know being mad and shit about something he chose to thought about and that and as soon as i saw that i'm like holy fucking shit like i was right the whole time and sometimes like you know you're right and it you know you know you're right but you just need like that kind of affirmation to be like are you sure this is gonna be good you know um yeah so i'm actually right now gonna um we're about to i actually had a lot more to say than i was anticipating um i don't have too much space on this memory card but that's not an issue anymore because I'm not a complete retard. Now I can uh, upload shit, do a couple videos at a time, upload them to you know YouTube, Twitch, whatever. They're on my computer, so I can delete them off my memory card, and then I still have space on my memory card to film shit on my GoPro. Like, duh! But at the same time, I also want to have a few memory cards because like, I didn't want to do that also. I didn't want to have all my shit on my computer. And it is kind of nice to have that like, I don't know, that fit. I'm a, I'm a weird, like I like physical copies. I have a bunch of CDs, T, uh, DVDs and shit. VHS tapes, dude, I recently started a VHS collection in the last year. And that shit's stacked high already, like. I just like, collecting obscure shit and just collecting things that interest me i guess um but what i'm finna do here is it's uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bring y'all with me to access these see you know like the application process um but this is a good first uh video um day one of the vlog I don't want to say day one. I, you're going to hear me say like random numbers and like parts. Like, oh, part one, part... Blah, blah, blah. It's just for me to kind of keep track of where I'm at with things. It doesn't really help all the way that much. But, um, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I have a, a lot to work on. But everybody that's been with me so far, I appreciate that. And everybody that's like slowly joining this cult over time as we move forward i appreciate the hell out of that too like it, it means so much to me in words that i can't really even describe right now because i'm not really fully aware of how much it means to me right now i know that kind of sounds a little strange but like i said like i used to not give a fuck at all about this i, I wanted to vlog and i wanted to do all this and i wanted the content and i wanted to do all that but i didn't give a fuck i didn't care if anybody watched i didn't care about any of it but now like i'm hoping like 
and not even so much that I'm hoping people see it. It's just I'm posting shit and people are seeing it and it's it's kind of a cool thing. So it's like I'm going to keep that up, you know. Um but like I said, we're going to take a small break right here. I've got to run in a couple places and see um Oh, and since I'm I'm right by Sprouts too. Uh we're going to go in there in a minute as well. So, all right, uh, stay tuned, y'all. We'll be back.